give you an indicator of how fast these winds are whipping. Just look at this stop sign right here. It is doing anything but stopping. The lights flicker on and off a little earlier tonight here at the Islander where we are about, I don't know, a half mile uh, west of the Bogue Pier. I drove all the way down here to Pine Knoll Shores from Greenville today, and like Matt said, the wind has definitely been the big factor. This is just the beginning of the storm hitting our area, so you can expect more rain, more winds, and higher water levels. Moving along with those winds, I hope you can hear me over here. There goes my hat, I told you. The wind, it's been swirling around at high speeds, and the surf right behind me, I'm not sure how well you can see, but it's extremely rough right now. Wind was blowing directly from east to west. Now it has shifted. Now it's blowing at a more northwesterly direction. Got it! <laughs> It's all about the rain here in Beaufort County. I mean, look at me right now. The rain is pelting me. I want to show you something. This here is an emergency trailer. County Emergency Services and also Onslow Government. And they tell me that there are 93 people taking advantage of those shelters tonight. And that number could even climb. And now we're joined by News Channel 12's Jessica Albert for more on the flooding in this area and also the beach conditions. It is windy out here, folks. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jessica. Now, let me show you what I'm seeing here closer to the beach. It has actually gotten a lot darker now, so you might not be able to see it, but I've never actually seen the beach like this before. The old saying in North Carolina, you wait, uh, you don't like the weather, wait a few minutes, it'll change. Well, that's certainly the case here in Emerald Isle. Today.